Hello everybody, I'm Clockwork Heart, or Nikki from J2NA Games, and this is an update on my gastric sleeve slash weight loss journey progress. Uh, thank you so much for joining me today, whatever brings you here. Uh, welcome, and I really appreciate you taking time out of your day to watch my video. I am sorry if things look different. I am currently recording on my husband's iPhone um, because my roommate is out of town and she took the the big camera and the light because they need to record some stuff for our YouTube cha our gaming channel which is technically more important than this channel in my opinion so that's why I sent it with her um, do you like my back do you like this background better this is my dresser it's not done yet it's just got a couple Nightmare Before Christmas things on it um, I have more things to eventually put on it Crowley is in here he him yell anyway so today is my one month anniversary of my surgery and I had my one month follow-up and everything is great Let me get to my notes I'm never prepared anyway so yeah everything went great uh, no problems to report I am I only lost a pound on the puree diet weight wise however they give you a little printout um, when you use their Tanita scale and I have lost uh, like significant amount of fat and I know I've gained 10 pounds uh, five five pounds of muscle so that's great I'm always happy when I gain muscle because I don't I'm not usually I didn't used to be that active so muscle good um, we have been doing a lot more walking so that's probably where the muscle growth comes in uh, now that Pokemon Go is out we pretty much go to the park and walk every night um, and it doesn't sound like a big deal but I previously, before my surgery, um, walked maybe one, like I could walk maybe like a quarter to a half a mile at most without having to rest. It was pretty bad. Like I could barely walk anywhere without having to rest. We could go to maybe two or three stores in the mall and have to rest. Like it was just really bad. Um, and now, just out of nowhere, unexpectedly, I can walk. We went to a par uh, park close to our house um, and caught some Pokemon. It ha it's really good for catching. And then we decided we didn't get enough supplies at that park, so we went to another park in a, a town over and walked that one. So we ended up walking like four miles in one night. But it didn't even feel like it. It was just casual walking and collecting Pokemon stuff. So I'm really happy with the way the progress is going exercise-wise. Weight loss, I don't even, like, I'm so happy with how much more active and how much more energy I have that I don't even really care what the scale says. I mean, it'd be nice to see a change in scale, but I'm just totally happy with how active I can be. It's just super satisfying to be able to go out and do things with my husband again without having to worry about if I'm going to get too tired or not. So that has been great. Um, today I got to start uh, soft foods, no more purees. Um, I don't remember what I had for breakfast. I think it was still a puree because I hadn't gone to my appointment yet. Yeah, I have no idea what I had for breakfast. I'll have to try and remember so I can put it in my fitness pal, but right now I don't remember. For lunch, I was in a huge hurry and very stressed. Some other things I had to take care of. So I just had one of those. You'll see it in my grocery video, which I'll insert in a little bit. Um, those P3 protein packs, they have like a deli pack now and it's just meat and cheese so I had that and a couple of pieces of soft fruit for lunch and like chunks of soft fruit not pieces of fruit um, so that was really good it was, it was so nice to be able to chew again so so excited we're gonna have rotisserie chicken and green beans and carrots for dinner I am looking forward to it um, I went back to work last Saturday the 16th and I was a little worried. I didn't feel so great when I woke up, but I took my yogurt with me and a protein shake with me, and by the time I got everything in, I was good to go. And I even volunteered for more hours, so I work. I normally only work one day a week, um, and now I have this. Just this week, I've picked up a couple extra days, and things are still going great. No problems. I have plenty of energy. Um, I can lift the dog food again without issues. I haven't tried to lift the 30 pound, 35 pound bags, and I don't think I'm going to try and lift those anytime soon. But I probably can. But I'm not going to push my luck. Um, so yeah, going back to work was great. I made a tiny vlog uh, when I got home my first day on that Saturday just to see how, just to say how things were going. So I will insert that here. Hey, um, just making a quick video in my car. Uh, 
to say today was my first day back to work and it went pretty good. I was a little painful, uh, probably from pushing myself too hard for the past several days. But um, everything went well. Everybody was really helpful because they know how much I'm struggling still. Um, so yeah, everything went great. First day back to work. Awesome. So see, it was just short, simple, just me being like, hey, I went to work. Uh, probably pointless, but it's there. Enjoy. Um, and I'm working all day tomorrow. We'll see how that goes. It'll be the longest shift I've had in several years, so wish me luck. Um, or <laughs> it'll probably be today, the day you're watching this video, I'll be at work. Um, anyway, things are doing good that, uh, as far as energy, mood, going back to work, everything's great. Um, I've been thinking about, like, my goal timeline, how much I want to lose in a certain amount of time, and from other people's videos, it was looking like people could lose two to five pounds a week, and I was really excited, I was like, Man, it could, it's possible that by October, the end of October, by Halloween, I'll be at my goal weight. Because I only have to lose like 110 pounds. And I think I did the math. Correct me if I'm wrong. It was a while ago. And if I could lose about five pounds a week, I could be my goal weight by about the end of October. Um, and that was like, that was right after my surgery. I was so excited this was possible. And then I'm like, that's not that important like I don't want to push myself too hard I'm gonna obviously I'm gonna exercise hard I'm gonna work toward that but I feel like that's almost an unachievable goal to set that like that's not even six months after my surgery so yeah I feel like that's I feel like I was being a little unrealistic when I was originally thinking of that and now I'm like you know if I could lose that in a year that would be pretty amazing I'm hoping I can do it faster but it's my goal to have lost uh, that 110 pounds by this by June 22nd of next year. I mean, you're, it, it has to be. It's, is it realistic for me to lose um, that much weight by the end of October? Maybe, but I don't know if, if it's attainable. You know, it's it's hard to say. I'm gonna do my best, but I don't want to give myself a goal that I can't achieve because that's just setting yourself up for failure, and you don't want to do that. So my goal is by June 22nd of next year, I will have lost my 110 pounds. My hope is that I can have lost most of that by October, but it is not my goal. We'll see, you'll be along for the ride. Um, I have been buying goal clothes. Um, my friend in Vegas is a size medium to large in Hot Topic clothes, girl clothes, and that is sort of what I'm aiming for. I'm aiming for a large in girl clothes at Hot Topic, which sounds big if you don't shop at Hot Topic, but a girl's large is not. My friend in Vegas is 125 to 135 pounds fluctuating, and my goal weight is 125 pounds. Well, if I can get to 125, I will be extremely ecstatic and kind of mind blown, but, and that's what I'm going to work toward but my realistic goal is 140. I mean, I've never, in my adult life, I've never weighed less than 180. So if I could weigh 140, I'd be pretty happy. I would like to get to 125, and I will continually work to achieve that goal. But 140 is my, I can't believe I did it. Now I can work harder, I guess, if that makes sense. So that's why I'm aiming for a large and the girls' hot topic stuff. So I've been buying some things like shirts, ma mainly shirts. I don't trust myself to buy dresses because you have to go with number sizes usually um, in the Hot Topic clothes. And I don't have any examples right now. They're all in the mail. Um, but I got a couple of shirts from Hot Topic. They're on their way. I have a dress from the Goodwill, though, that I am aiming for. Um, did any of you guys buy gold clothes when you lost, when you had your surgery? Like, I'm aiming for this size or were you just sort of like, we'll see where I end up? I'm just curious. Um, let me know down in the comments below if you want to. Um, so we are going to DEF CON in Vegas in a couple of weeks. And then we are going to PAX at the beginning of September, which uh, is in Seattle. And I am super psyched because with all the walking I've been doing, like, I just feel like it's going to be so much better because I'll actually be able to go and do things without having to worry about holding people back and 
you know, having to rest if there and if there's nowhere to sit, what am I gonna do? You know, like if I can walk four miles in one night now, just just a month after surgery, how how great are things gonna be at the end of at the beginning of September? Uh, a little over two months after my surgery, um, like I just there's so many things I haven't done in Seattle, and this is our last year going to PAX for quite a while. So there's so many things I haven't done in Seattle that I'm looking forward to being able to do this year because I can actually walk. I can function like a normal human being, and I'm just, I'm super excited. I mean, I can't quite function like a normal human being yet, but maybe, maybe by the time PAX rolls around, I'll be able to. And I'm just like, we're going to go to the pier, and we can walk around the shops, and we can go to Ivar's and sit on the pier and look out over the ocean. And I can actually walk with people when they're going to the store to get supplies and can walk to the restaurants. Like, I had to sit out going to dinner with everyone one year because I couldn't walk to the restaurant. I was also sick with the flu. But, you know, the point stands. I got sick a lot more when I before the surgery. Um, I'm hoping that stops anyway. But, yeah, I'm just super psyched about being able to function like a normal human being and go about and just do things. Just have a good time, finally, without having to worry about if I'm gonna hold people back or if I'm gonna have to rest and there's nowhere to rest. So, I am, I'm looking forward to it. And I will definitely keep you guys updated. I will probably vlog while I'm at both of those things so that you can see what was going on. If you'd like that, or if you wouldn't like that, I'm, yeah. If you wouldn't like that, please let me know and I won't do it. But if you do want to see that, maybe give this video a thumbs up, if you'd like. Um, so, that being said, as soon as they approved me for soft foods, I went to the grocery store and I got a bunch of things that I have kind of been craving. Um, so I just I took a quick video of the things that I had bought. Um, we're ordering more groceries in a couple of days because that's when actual payday is. But this was just a, hey, I'm grabbing a few things to have over the next couple of days to because all I have in the house is purees pretty much. So I will put that in here. You can go say hi to past Nikki because I recorded her earlier in the day. And then I will be back to say goodbye. All right, so I went to the grocery store, as I just said, and it's future Nikki just said, because uh, current Nikki is standing in her kitchen, not ready to uh, film anything other than this. But yeah, so I got approved for my starting soft foods. That's what it is, soft foods, which again. So I went straight to the grocery store, and these are the things I picked up. I thought you guys might be interested. I don't know. Sorry about the hand. I'm not used to using the, the back camera. Uh, so these are my favorite yogurts currently. They're honey flavor, open nature. I figure just because I'm on soft food doesn't mean I'm going to stop eating yogurt. Um, I also grabbed some hummus. And I meant to grab um, a cucumber so I could peel it and have cucumber slices in my hummus. But I forgot. So I'm going to have to go back out later and get that. I also got some watermelon because... I was going into watermelon withdrawal. And the strawberries, hopefully they're soft enough. I'll have to poke them later when I open it. Um, see if they count as soft and moist. I actually got three of these. Um, they're the, they're deli snacks. So they're just meat and cheese, which I didn't know they made these. So I was really excited because I thought I was gonna have to get the kind with nuts in them. And I was, you know, I can't eat the nuts yet. I also got a pack of just regular cheese because I don't know how much cheese I have in the house. and. I'm a cheese addict. Uh, these are not for me. These are for John. He's also trying to be healthier. So cutting out regular bread and trying other things. Uh, we got a rotisserie chicken, sorry, back here uh, that I am looking forward to having for dinner. It looks nice and moist. It's still warm. And then I got some green beans and some carrots. Hopefully they'll be soft enough. I also have peas and stuff in the cabinet, but I got some green peas and carrots today. And some chicken gravy so that I can have that on my rotisserie chicken. And then I went overboard with the uh, tuna and fish packs. I, To be honest, I don't even know how moist and soft these are. This might have been an awful idea. I have never had any of the flavored ones, but um, this one is teriyaki sesame tilapia, Thai ginger tuna, hot buffalo, sweet and spicy, Mediterranean style tuna, lemon pepper, this is the kids version bacon ranch. That is a cat butt. Regular ranch, garlic herb, and then salmon and mango chipotle. Which I am excited to try all of these. But that's what I picked up at the grocery store today. Obviously, 
that's not enough to last until next grocery run. But this is just a mid prepaid grocery run. You get paid in a couple days where I'll pick up stuff for the whole family. Crowley wants to say hi. Say hi. Okay, he doesn't care anymore. And Isis and Kimchi want to say hi. Don't you? Yes. All right, back to Fusion. Thanks, past Nikki. So yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to those tuna things. And the P3 packs are great. And actually, as soon as I'm done recording this video, I'm gonna go downstairs and have my rotisserie chicken and green beans or carrots. Not sure what John wants. Um, but that is how things are going for me. I'm really glad things are going well. Um, oh, you know what I wanted to talk about and I forgot? Vitamins. So we have a new nutritionist at the clinic or at the banner. Um, she doesn't know about bariatric yet. Um, she's brand new. She's only been there for like a week maybe. And I can't keep down any of my bariatric vitamins. I bought three different brands and I can't keep any of them down. So I asked, can I do gummy vitamins? And she said no. Apparently they get they can get stuck in your stomach. I'm going to do them anyway. I realize that's irresponsible and I realize I may put myself back in the hospital. However, I feel like vomiting every day as I try to take these other multivitamins is also detrimental. So their fear with gummy vitamins, well one, you're probably not going to get as many nutrients as you need, but I figure some is better than none. Um, is their fear is you won't chew them enough and they'll cause a blockage or they'll get stuck to the inside of your pouch or things like that. So I'm going to start slow, maybe one vitamin a day and chew, chew, chew extremely well and I will let you guys know how things go. Um, I guess you could consider this a trial and error for you guys, but everybody's different so just because it may work for me doesn't mean it'll work for any, everyone else, you know. But I will let you guys know how things go um, with my gummy vitamins. Um, and when I get blood work done, I don't remember when blood work's done, I think six months, but when I get that done, I'll let you know how my vitamin numbers look and whether the gummies were cutting it or not, if I can even take them. So, um, yeah, keep that in mind. If you're thinking about gummies, they don't really recommend those because they can get stuck to your esophagus. They can get stuck in lots of places and cause problems. So be aware of that if you're thinking about gummies. Um, and that, I guess, is the end of what I have to report today. Uh, things are going great and I am super glad. If you have any questions, I will do my best to answer them. Please leave them in the comments below. And thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it so much that you take the time out of your day to watch my videos. And I will see you guys in the next video that I make. Bye!